This is question 25 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we're told the sketch shows a curve with equation y equals ka to the power of x, where k and a are constants and a is greater than 0. The curve passes through the points 1, 7 and 3, 1, 7, 5. Calculate the value of k and the value of a. So the first thing that we're going to do, and this is, you know, this is a real nice question actually. The first thing that we're going to do is simply input the coordinates into our equation. So we know our value for y and we know our value for x at this point here. So we can say that y is 175 when x is equal to 3. So 175 equals k a x is 3. So it would be 175 equals k a to the power of 3, just substituting into the equation. Let's do exactly the same with this coordinate here. So 7 is equal to k a this time to the power of 1. Now what we're asked to do is find the value of k and the value of a. Now at the moment we've got no way of doing this because we don't know what k is, we don't know what a is. So we need to find a way in which we can get rid of either k or we can get rid of a. Now let's think about this. What ha would happen if we were to divide these things here. If we were to divide the two equations by each other, well I would get 175 divided by 7, which is going to give me <coughs> which is going to give me 25. And then if I did k divided by a, well that's just going to give me 1. K divided by k, that gives me 1. So let's write it down anyway. And then a cubed divided by a squared, well I'm left with 1a squared. Now remember I don't really need that 1. So I'm left with just 25 is equal to a squared. Well now that's quite straightforward. That means that a is going to be the square root of 25, which is 5. It could also be negative 5. However, remember here we're told that a is greater than 0. So a is equal to 5 is our only possible answer to that. So a is equal to 5. We've got one of our values. Now we've got one of our values, we can figure out the other one. Let's take a look at and just substitute a back into one of these. Let's choose the, um, 7 equals ka because it just makes it a bit easier than dealing with bigger numbers. So what we could then say is that 7 is equal to k multiplied by 5, which I'm just going to write as 5k. And so that means that k is going to be 7 divided by 5. And so that means that k, that means that k is equal to uh, 1.4. So my final answer here would be A is equal to 5 and K is equal to 1.4.